Hakeem, one guy led his team on a surge to the AFC East title. An overlooked kid out of Iowa took his team to the number one seed in the NFC. Another guy tied Tony Romo's franchise record of games with multiple touchdown passes. And then there was a non quarterback who found the end zone 21 times and led the league from week one through the end of the season. But then there was another one once upon a midnight dreary who was just a class above the rest. Yeah, it's tough to bet against a heavy favorite in Vegas. Lamar Jackson, just that finished the regular season as a virtual lock to win NFL MVP and no upset in Vegas. The favorite cashes in Lamar Jackson, the Raven star quarterback locking up the MVP award in the final two weeks of the regular season with wins against the 49ers and Dolphins throwing for seven combined touchdowns. Lamar guided Baltimore to 13 wins and the number one seed in the AFC. He's the 11th player in NFL history with multiple MVP awards but still chasing his biggest win. He's got the same number of MVP awards as playoff wins, too. You catch my Edgar Allen Poe in that one. All right, well, no big surprise here, but Christian McCaffrey was named AP Offensive Player of the Year. McCaffrey, who has been the focal point of San Francisco's offense, led the NFL in scrimmage yards and rushing yards. And he also co-legged the league in touchdowns with 21 from week one through week 18. McCaffrey has led the league in rush yards. He's the fourth player to win the rushing title in wire to wire fashion. And he's the first 49ers player to win Offensive Player of the Year since Jerry Rice did it. He did that back in 1993. The voting for Defensive Player of the Year, super close between AFC North rivals. Browns defensive end Miles Garrett earned 23 first place votes. Steelers linebacker TJ Watt got 19 first place votes, the same number of sacks he had this season, which led the league. Miles Garrett had 14 sacks while leading the number one defense in the NFL. He's the first Browns player to ever win Defensive Player of the Year. And shout out to Texas, Houston Texans quarterback CJ Stroud won AP Offensive Rookie of the Year. Stroud threw for just over 4,100 yards and 23 touchdowns this season, the third most passing yards by a rookie all time, leading Houston to their first postseason appearance since 2019. He's the first Texans player ever to win Offensive Rookie of the Year, and he added his name to an elite group of signal callers as one of three quarterbacks to lead the NFL outright in passing yards per game and touchdown to interception ratio. And for the second year in a row, the offensive and defensive rookie of the year from the same team. C.J. Stroud's teammate Will Anderson taking home the honors. Anderson led all NFL rookies in quarterback pressures and QB hits this season. C.J. Stroud and Will Anderson, the fourth pair of teammates to win both offensive and defensive rookie of the year in the same season. Have a day, Texans. And hey, have a day, Cleveland Browns. Miles Garrett wins Defensive Player of the Year. Joe Flacco, who went 4-1 and one as a starter for Cleveland, earns Comeback Player of the Year. Steven Stefanski is the Coach of the Year. That's what they called him on the podium, which is absolutely embarrassing. As a lifelong, diehard Cleveland Browns <laughs> fan, get his name. Put some respect on put that name. On Kevin name. Stefanski earns his second Coach of the Year award, led the Browns to 11 wins, five different quarterbacks, including the guy who won Comeback Player of the Year, Joe Flacco. And then, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I don't like the Steelers as a Browns fan, but, you know, I got to respect what Cam Hayward does. Uh, Steelers defensive captain uh, doing great work in the Pittsburgh community, earning Walter Payton Man of the Year. Shout out to the AFC North. And we now welcome in former Raiders fullback and executive Marcel Reese on the heels of the 2024 NFL Honors. Marcel, there were some big moments and some well-deserved honors coming from Thursday night's annual event, but I want to know what was your biggest takeaway from the evening? We said you have me on, but honestly, my biggest takeaway of this evening was the state of our game is in great hands. When you're looking at the young men who won these awards tonight, I believe they're all under the age of 30 besides Cam Hayward who won the Walter Payton Man of the Year. You're, you're talking about uh, a quarterback and a defensive player, the uh, rookie defensive rookie of the year, both over in Houston, and they are phenomenal players. And our young MVP in Lamar Jackson, who has so many more MVPs to, to run after in years to come. It's amazing the state of our football. Yeah, definitely a lot of young names on there, and it makes you excited for what's to come for some of these young stars, young and rising stars also. But from Offensive and Defensive Rookie of the Year to Comeback Player of the Year to the Hall, and Fa Hall of Fame inductees, I want to know what was your biggest surprise from this year's NFL Honors? Surprise I had was 
They got the coach of the coach of the year first name wrong. <laughs> Call them Steven. Tell him. Tell him Marcel. That's the biggest surprise. He's winning the award. Not just the nominee. He's winning the award. <laughs> No, in all seriousness, I think the closest race obviously was our defensive player of the year. And uh, I was surprised, and, and Miles Garrett is much deserving. I was surprised that it didn't go to the sack leader and it went to um, – a person who came second in sacks and he plays the same position. I was a little surprised by that, but Miles Garrett is much is well deserved, and uh, congratulations to him and all the nominees and, and winners of tonight. Yeah, definitely an exciting night overall. But Marcel, I gotta ask you, what would be your thoughts playing in Vegas for the Raiders? There's nothing like it. You're talking about putting on that silver helmet and that and that black uniform. Uh, I say this all the time. Anyone who has ever played the game of football, watched the game of football, they have dreamed of wearing the silver and black. And if they tell you they didn't, they're lying. And it's that much sweeter being out in Vegas with that beautiful stadium going on out there. Marcel, I appreciate the insight. Thanks so much. I appreciate you having me on. Coming up, a new class of Hall of Famers revealed at Honors Night. Who's heading to Canton next on CBS Sports HQ?